I'm Alan. I am an Agilent engineer and today I would like to introduce you to the new Jaybird M8020A High Performance Bird. The new Jaybird M8020A allows fast and accurate characterization of receivers operating up to 16 and 32 gigabit. The new Jaybird M8020 offers the highest level of integration to streamline complex test setups and it offers in situ calibration for most accurate and repeatable receiver characterization results. And in addition, it also offers interactive link training to bring the devices into loopback mode faster. So all in all, the new Jaybird M8020 offers accelerated insight into your next generation digital design. So here is the setup that I would like to show you today. We have the Jaybird M8020 with two channels, channel 1 and channel 2, and all the control signals also in the same module. We have an ISI channel in one of the two signal paths, and we are monitoring the signal here with a high performance DCA. So you can see here signals at 16 gigabit, one which is jitter free, and the other one that is jittered caused by the ISI from the ISI channel. The whole thing is controlled from the user interface of the Jaybird M8020 and this is what I will show you next. What you will see here is the overview of the whole system including the generator path and the analyzer path. You can here see all the jitter sources and you can turn them on and off individually. You can also control from this one user interface the output voltages for the generator and trigger output and clock output signals. Here in the bottom you see the status indicators with the data rate that you selected and to monitor the BR real time. At the right hand side you see the properties. For example here you can see data output properties for channel 1 and here for channel 2. The Jaybird M8020 has an integrated de-emphasis with eight taps. It has built-in jitter sources, clock synthesizer, a reference clock multiplier, a CDR, and equalizer for the analyzer path. You can go to the properties and for example I can show you how to turn on the de-emphasis settings here on the right hand side. So now I would like to show you the de-emphasis capabilities of the new Jaybird M8020. So here in the oscilloscope screen you see two 16 gigabit signals. One is the jitter free from the output of the Jaybird M8020 and the lower one is passing through a 7 inch ISI channel at 16 gigabit. So you see how close the eye is. So now when I turn on the built-in de-emphasis taps in the Jaybird, I can compensate for some of the losses caused by the ISI channel. So now it's with 2 dB de-emphasis on the first post cursor, increasing to 3 dB, 4 dB. So now the eye is pretty much open again. If I continue to add the emphasis, you see that I'm overcompensating right now. So this is something you don't want to do, so let's go back. I think the optimum here is between 3 and 4 dB. And with the fine resolution of the de-emphasis tabs, you can very precisely optimize the eye opening here. The Jaybird offers 8 tab de-emphasis, 2 precursors and 8 post cursors. That gives you a very high precision to compensate for the losses caused by the channel or the test setup. So now I want to show you the jitter injection capabilities of the new Jaybird M8020. Each data channel has jitter sources that can be turned on and off individually. The jitter sources are calibrated. For example, if we turn on here PJ1, you can set two modulation frequencies and that's independent for each channel. We also have jitter sources for the clock and trigger output. 
that you can add in addition to the data channel outputs. There are also common mode and differential mode interference sources that cause sinusoidal interference, so a vertical eye closure. The new Jaybird allows to add those simultaneously. So now let's look at the oscilloscope, how that impacts the data output of channel 1. Here we see the clean output signal of channel 1 at 16 gigabit. If I turn on the level interference, you just see here how the vertical light closure can be decreased. So now let's look at the timing jitter. I can add multiple types of timing jitter to this output signal. Now I added 200 milliui of periodic jitter and you can increase that in pretty fine steps to achieve a full eye closure. So now the eye is almost closed. You can add multiple types of jitter simultaneously and these jitter sources are all pre-calibrated. You have the choice of adding random jitter, periodic jitter, bounded uncorrelated jitter, spectrally distributed random jitter and F2 jitter, which allows you to emulate that the eye width is independently long for even and odd bits. Now I can show the analysis capabilities of the new Jaybird M8020A. You have here the choice of monitoring the bit error ratio. So when I start to insert errors, you can see the errors here over time. You can scale the timeline that you want to track that. So that's the classical BR accumulation view. You also have the ability to do an output timing measurement here we see how the sampling point is moved over the UI to monitor the BR over the sampling point position in the eye. So here we see just a so-called bathtub curve or BERT scan. So these measurements are built in in the new Jaybird M8020. So in today's demo, I gave you an overview of the new Jaybird M8020A. With its built-in de-emphasis capabilities, the integrated and calibrated jitter sources, and the analyzer functionality. So all in all, the new Jaybird M8020 accelerates the insight into your next generation digital design. For more information, please visit our URL. And thank you for watching this.